when you talk about 1619 Project, so much of it is about how we learn and what we learn as a kid. Can you talk a little bit about growing up yourself, what you learned from school about uh, Black American history? Yes, yeah, so I grew up uh, in the 80s and the 90s, and I believe I had a fairly common educational experience, which was we learned a little bit about Black people during Black History Month, usually uh, the same four or five people, Harriet Tubman, Frederick Douglass, um, Ida B. Wells, Sojourner Truth, and George Washington Carver. And then a little bit about slavery, uh, largely because they had to discuss the Civil War. And then Black people pretty much disappeared from the story uh, until the Civil Rights Movement. And there was really no uh, African history, even though we had global studies. Uh, there was no um, really larger understanding of how Black Americans fit into the larger story of America. And there certainly wasn't the teaching of Black people as actors in the American story. We were always kind of uh, the asterisks. Uh, until I took this one semester Black Studies course that my high school offered. It was an elective course. And I've talked quite a bit uh, about, and I talk about this in the preface of uh, the new 1619 Project book about how in that three month class, I learned more about the history and contributions of Black Americans uh, in the United States and the world than I'd learned my entire career. Before that, it was just, it was a vacuum of information. We were just largely erased from the story. And I think that that's still fairly typical in the American classroom. It's kind of embarrassing to admit that now, but when you're a student and when you're a child, you just assume that adults are teaching you the things that are important enough to be known. And so if you're not learning about something, you pretty much assume it's because there's nothing there that you should be uh, taught. So the biggest aha was just, wow, uh, there were African kingdoms. Well, we learn about all of these European kingdoms. We learn about even Mayans and Aztecs, but we weren't learning about African kingdoms. I didn't know that there were so many black writers. I didn't know about all the contributions that black people made between the era of slavery and after. So that was the aha. And that's where I really, uh, really developed this insatiable appetite to learn this history because when you're a white American, you don't actually know what it means to be erased, to never see anyone like you being an actor in the in the history, in the, um, the literature that you read, uh, in the museums that you go to. And that erasure is really demeaning and, and it's really powerful. So when I realized that actually, there's a ton of history, there's a ton of scholarship, there's a ton of literature, there's a ton of art that could be studied that I also realized that people had made the decision that this wasn't important enough for us to learn. And I determined that I was going to learn as much of it as I could. <laughs>